Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Just uh, give me a second while we ping the Discord and put a link out on Twitter. And then we'll have a little bit of hello people, shall we? See how everyone's doing? Okay. Who do we have? Brad, welcome in. Canadian Gamer, Mehmet, Jennifer, Waylander, uh, Charles, Emily, Intrabang, Michael, Justin, G, Ryan, Grattles, Cargo, welcome in everyone. How is everyone's weekend? Is everyone having uh, a nice time? And uh, we do have some worker demands at the minute, which we are going to address today with a little bit more residential expansion. I hope you all enjoyed the first rural build. Turned out alright, didn't it, I think? <laughs> I think it's okay. Well, this little node controller area here, where it's all kind of stretched out and scratched up a little bit. And then it goes up into the church with like the little priest house next door to it. Love that. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, I really like this build. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Hey Adam, welcome in buddy. Claire as well. Jan, Anna, Josh, Jamal, Base. Welcome, welcome everyone. Well, everyone's having a nice weekend and we will get started with the stream. Uh, so I want to carry on bringing in some of those trailer assets that we used in the episode as well, just to satisfy um, this little spike in residential demand that we're getting, because we are getting some worker issues in the town. So we'll address this first. And then we'll head over to Google Maps today as well and see what we can find in rural Arizona, which should be fun. A nice little stream in store today. <laughs> hey, Fusi, welcome into the stream. Love the rural build. The rural build loves you as well, Jennifer. Thank you so much, lovely. Glad you enjoyed it. I think I'm feeling some of this road, actually. Oh, that's the decal. <laughs> that's not the road itself. There we go. That's what we want. So I think we'll stay tarmacked here for a little while. So I do want a little bit of distance between these trailers and the rest of the town. Not like a vast amount. So we'll give a little spine and then we'll draw off some very rough and basic initial holding frames until we know what we're doing here. But I think that should be okay. It's windy AF here, 45 mile per hour gust. The house is shaking. Be careful, dude. You're in Tennessee, right? In Terrabank, if I remember rightly. <laughs> I think so. Hey, Philip, welcome to the stream. Happy Saturday to you as well, Grattles, and another Josh as well. And DRK. TV, welcome, welcome, everyone. Okay. So, let's go ahead and start placing down some of these little trailer park assets. Let's go for... There's probably some further assets we can look at to fit within this theme today as well. But we'll just get a load of these down, and then we will start to finagle with Move It. Hopefully bring in some different designs. Start bringing some curves off here as well, so we're not quite so rigid and straight all the time. A little bit something like that. Some of this fencing can disappear now as well, as we mould the Royal Green Belt into this part of the town. Cool. So let's bring these guys around. Definitely want these sat in and around the main road into town. I think that's going to be... Let's go for a different asset, though. That's the same one. Let's grab this one. You're from Tennessee, but you live in Atlanta now? Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense, I guess. Yo, I hope the storm isn't too bad, dude. Yeah, do keep yourself safe. So we could actually have this as a another exit into the town, which actually might be quite nice. We'll see how much use that gets. I can't imagine I'll get a lot, but it's there anyway. Okay. Happy with this. Let's continue to bring in a few more trailers knocking around here. And then we'll carry on moving these ones around too. Very much kind of focus on this main sort of tarmac road first. Get this looking good and then we can expand around it. Maybe one on the corner. Get the bushes next, next to the road. Okay. Don't mind that. How many people do these things actually hold, these little caravans? Yeah, same as a normal house, really, isn't it? Okay. So I'm thinking we'll now start to bring in, again, some more walkability back onto the main street. Not that it's going to get loads of use around here, but every little helps, right? Stream is not sponsored by Tesco. 
Lovely Robert Build makes me think about the movie No Country for Old Men. Well, I had a few comments about that, Jan, actually. Um, that it did remind people of that movie. I haven't seen it, though, so... I can't confirm <laughs> or deny, but yeah, a few comments from people saying it had some No Country for Old Men vibes, which I guess is good, right? I guess that's a good thing. Is it a good movie? I haven't seen it. Someone else let me know. Okay, now let's go for some trees. Definitely feeling some live oaks here between the road. And the new trailer park. I think an organic repeated pattern will be fine. Again, lots of overgrowth is going to be massively helpful here as well. Um, where is my brown grasses? There we go. That's what we want. Let's get a few of these in as well. Probably squeeze some rocks in here as well today. Hey, Stuart. At work again, just on lunch and catch 20 minutes or so. No worries, mate. Hope work is going well enough. And a happy Saturday to you, Stuart. Okay. Yes, it is. It's a great movie. So, uh, the villain is super creepy. Isn't the guy... Doesn't he kind of look like Jaws from the James Bond Moonraker movie? I think I recognise his face. He's, he's got quite a long face, hasn't he? If that's not a rude thing to say <laughs> about a movie star that I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I think I've seen maybe like pictures of it, maybe a trailer, but never seen the full thing itself. Remember Ali Briskin with the 200 Turkish Lira Super Chat? I think the first few minutes of the stream, glitched on the stream, can you tell me what we're doing today? Of course, Mehmet. And we're going to start off by expanding and satisfying some of this residential demand that we're getting. And then we're going to head to Google Earth and mooch out into the empty desert and do something out here today. Maybe a municipal airport. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Well, thank you so much for the super chat, buddy. Really appreciate it, and uh, welcome in, Mehmet. Nice to see you, mate. Definitely some palms around here, too. I wonder if kind of like an old, little cheap and nasty commercial building would work nicely in here. It probably would, to be fair. Let me turn my night cycle off, anyway. Um, let's have a little look. Let's scan through some low-density commercial. I feel like I have already used a fair bit of these though. We did, someone, someone also said you should put a Dollar Tree over here as well, or some kind of dollar store. This might look nice against the main road actually as we come into town. Yeah, let's do that, let's do that. Let's reinstate the power line as well. Bring this back across. And again, Surface Painter is gonna help reinforce the vibe when we come across a building with a concrete floor. Just get rid of that. Would a parking lot be too much here? Just a tiny one? Can I get away with that? <laughs> Is everyone going to be fuming? I'll probably put a scrapyard next to this as well since it's like an auto parts store. Alright. Hey everyone, hope you're having a good weekend as you, Jude. Hope your weekend is going well. His weapon of choice is interesting. Or what is it? Is it appropriate for the stream, Aaron, before you say? <laughs> if it's something not, then, then please don't say. Weekends with you and Egg. What could be better? Thank you so much, Jennifer. Exactly the same. I actually woke up this morning and thought, the weekend with Jennifer Cox in the stream. How could things get any better? <laughs> Welcome in. Welcome in. I think I'm going to go for a car park. Uh, let's go for 22 meter. Only a one-sided one, though. And an angle and a road length, so we can line up with the edge of the asset. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That's fine. Let's um, bring this over as well, so we're slightly more flush. Maybe with the main road too. Love this raw detailing. <laughs> it's so much fun. So much fun. I wonder how many people have been inspired to actually start a Southwestern Desert map since watching Ilos. If anyone has in the chat, I'll be interested to know. If anyone has um, maybe started on the same map or gone for another desert map, but same desert vibes. It's okay if you haven't been inspired either. 
<laughs> That's totally fine. Don't worry, you guys don't have to be inspired. Okay, yeah, let's bring the service pattern out, totally. And then we'll bring in some connectivity, again, just to kind of round off this side of the town. And a lot of... What's it called? Chain link fencing. It's going to be nice here today as well. Okay. Is there a Dollar General store on the workshop? They are often found in rural areas. So we do have some dollar assets. Um, let me line them up. So there's the Dollar Tree. The Family Dollar. And then a smaller Dollar Tree. And then also a Dollar Tree sign. So we've got three sort of like dollar shop assets we can use. I was going to put a Dollar Tree in, but I thought it was too big. But then all the Americans have been like, nope. <laughs> there's, there's Dollar Trees everywhere in the, in the rural southwest. Okay, yeah, but we can totally put a Dollar Tree in if we want. Um, if it's appropriate. Oh, there's another shop here as well. Right, let's not get distracted. <laughs> let's, um, let's come in and grab some of the old favourite chain link fencing. We will come back to the Dollar Store. I'm not just going to ignore it. Let's go for the natural disasters one, a little bit of prop line tool with an options for linear fence fill. Shout out to Few Candy for that one. Finally teaching me how to use the prop line tool after six years. Brad Stanton with a 10 Australian dollar super chat. Hey Egg, uh, glad to join you for another stream. I'm glad you're here, Brad. Thank you so much for stopping by, mate. I really appreciate the support, buddy. And uh, thank you for yet another late night watching my streams. <laughs> you are relentless, mate. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thanks for the super chat. Family dollar looks better, I think. Okay. We can go for some of that then. And then we will create an entranceway, but we'll do this manually. Let's come into a single placement. And a little bit of prop. Trianica should help us out. Let's get one in, that'll be fine. And then we know we have a bunch of scrap assets from our rail yard episode in particular. The cargo, yes they do. The cargo lines do fall under this brick, that's good. Uh, let me complete the fence though, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? Let's do this. Are we? You and Few Candy have inspired me to change my build style with using ploppables and detailing. Are you enjoying it a little bit more, Sargon? Are you enjoying the slower, more detailed approach? I certainly do. There's dollar trees everywhere. There is indeed. The uh, Dollar Tree Gang is well and truly out this week after that episode. There we go. And then let's line this up. Chain link fencing as well is on the way to quickly replacing nature reserve fencing. That's my favourite. <laughs> it's really fun. I love it. Love it. A DRK DRGN76 with a two US dollar super chat looks absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, DRK. Really appreciate the support, buddy. Glad you're enjoying it. No, thanks for the super chat. Okay, so industrial prop boys now. Let's start bringing in some shipping containers. Not many, like literally just one or two, maybe towards the back. Where they've just been dropped off here. And can hold various car supplies. And then we have the scrapyard itself. See how many we can mix and match the loading bay here, which is not what I need. Let's try and mix and match these the best we can, so we're not getting too much repeated action. Maybe like an old couple of old broken trucks near the bottom. Oh, this one's got its back open. Let's make this as though it looks like it's unloading. So it's poured in here, and then we can grab some boxes. Um, we should have a few. But they won't actually be called boxes, will the idiot? No. <laughs> they won't be called like crates or something. Yes, there we go. They were called crates. Um, it's a little bit too big for that one, maybe. Maybe Canada has sent some supplies to Royal Ilos. There's a little Canadian flag there as well. Egg, I think you were influencing Biffer as well. He's doing more placement of assets rather than just zoning in areas. Good. Good. <laughs> That's what people need to do. Maybe little, what's this one? Utility outbuilding. This one's cute. Maybe have that at the entrance. I've started a lot of cities since watching your first city, including a desert one. 
Sadly, my 15 year old PC gives up after a couple of hours. That's a shame, David. Yeah. Is it the assets that are killing it? You could maybe try vanilla. But yeah, that 15 year old PC will struggle at the best of times anyway. A Biff is even placing hedges nowadays. Good to hear. Good to hear. Oh, so budget data with a 100 rupee super chat. Any plans on building a challenge city using all vanilla assets, wants, monuments, uniques, etc.? Um, no, literally zero plans for that, so budget. Um, I hadn't, hadn't even thought of it. <laughs> but uh, thank you for the super chat, mate. I appreciate it. I'm not going to commit to any challenge videos, but I know I'm getting a lot of comments asking me to do the Biffer one, so we might. Okay. Let's get some of the very basic vanilla ones in now as well. Some of these pallet looking vibes. Let's get a little part of these in and then we can hopefully just use move it to stack them up on top of each other. Shouldn't be too bad I don't think. Oh, thank you for the super chat as well, so budget. I can't remember if I said thank you or not, but I appreciate it. Okay. Just wants overgrowth now, doesn't it? And decals and breaking down and making a little bit nasty. Let's come back into the world of decals and we'll grab some of these big dry grass ones. Especially around the edges. So we get some more sort of dusty vibes out on the main road as well. Not forgetting our parking. Let's actually put some spaces in it. Uh, let's go for... One of these little disabled ones and then we'll just place in some... ...ones next to it. Let's bring some larger grasses through the area too. You should do Biffy's challenge video, it was a lot of fun. It was the first challenge that I've done. Oh, the the airport one. I did Biffy's other challenge a couple of years ago, the panic one. Um, But yeah, not done one since that. Definitely got some cactus in here too. Sort of in and around the area. There's a lot of overgrowth palette we can copy and paste into this from the episode two. Yeah, lots of these grasses near the fence. This is always a nice time. Mm. Yes, I think I can deal with those. Especially as we poke through the fence, it's becoming more and more overgrown. And then maybe just like a short fan palm that's developing here as well. Ready to become a full grown up palm. Okay. Little small yard tethered onto the back of a commercial unit. Expands it a little bit, doesn't it? Gives us a slightly nice introduction into town anyway. Um, I want to bring that sound barrier back through this way though. Let's go for, yeah, the single sided crash barrier. That's what I want. We will manually draw this in, otherwise, we're going to clip with our lines. Straight down. Then hook that in. I think it's simple enough, isn't it? What it wants happening now is just that kind of natural Ilos rural green belt palette that we made coming in just to add a natural border into the town. And then we can get gradually thinner as we come further and further away. Okay, perhaps a rock asset outside here too. Oh, actually, this might be a good spot for the the dollar store. Yeah, let's put the dollar store here as well. And um, let's search for it again. David B, uh, welcome to YouTube Eggs. Thank you for becoming a member, mate. Appreciate the support. Um, you should have access to some cute little emojis now. So, thank you for the support, mate. I appreciate that. Okay, can we have it like off center with the car park here? We might even be able to double up the car park action 
Which could be a bold move, but bear with me. What a distance are we here? Five units. Let's do that same distance again. Yeah, this is going to be a really nice little cross-section into town, isn't it? Rural power lines, a couple of little bigger commercial units. Yes, please, everyone. This is turning out nicely. Let's also repeat the packing pattern on this side. So we'll go for... Single placement of some disabled. And then some regular ones. Cool. So that's going to be mirrored either side. I think I'm happy with that. Looking good. That's so cute. Love it. Loving this. Thank you, everyone. Glad you're enjoying it. Looks like grape seed in GTA 5. Oh, do you know what? GTA 5 would be a really good point of inspiration for some parts of Ilos, actually. I totally forgot about GTA 5 as an inspiration source. Good, good shout, Nico. And your name's Nico as well. How appropriate for Grand Theft Auto, right? Looking good. Arizona native here. Hey, Adam. How are we hitting the vibe, mate? <laughs> I'm always... I'm always keen to speak to the Arizona locals. I hope it's somewhat true to your home. Okay. A few more of these now. Let's go for uh, some different models. Let's grab this one. Cool. And then over here. One more here. And then grab this one again. And then put that there. Okay. I think we can definitely afford some more rocks up this side as well. Um, just so it's not all kind of rural forest. Um, let's have a look what we've got to use. Not a major one. Uh, it does sort of work. <laughs> clearly, clearly not sold on that one. Mm, okay, just leave it at that. See how it grows on us. Maybe switch the disabled to be close to the building. Probably a good point, actually, isn't it? Yeah, I'll put the disabled like the, fur <laughs> the furthest point for the door. <laughs> yes, excellent point. Excellent point. Let me redo that. That is a good observation. So I'll do five. And. Snap. There we go. Yeah. Good spot. Good spot. <laughs> yes, now the disabled people always walking distance. Yes, did not at all think that one through. Let's reconsider our position on the disabled parking. There we go. We should all thank a few candy as well for finally installing the one-sided 60 meter parkings that she did when she made her episode of Wireless. I constantly forgot to turn them on. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab some of that green belt. Oh, so there isn't too much in here. Oh, we'll grab this though. This sort this could be useful. Yeah, let's go for just that there. That should be okay. And we'll see where we can drop this in now. So let's maybe come in. You want a little bit of like a forest boundary between the rest of the town and this particular trailer park. Okay. Good more trees along the river and perfect for a little town. More trees along the river. Is this not enough already? <laughs> it seems like quite a lot. I'll do more if we need. But it does seem like quite a lot. And then one over here as well. Cool. It's like getting some base overgrowth down now as well. Yeah, the worker demands here are not satisfying. We're placing... Although to be fair, this probably wants rebalancing with Rico a little bit. How many of these hoarding? Ten workers, ten workers. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think I'm placing too much commercial. I'm really unbalancing the, the split of workers here. Um, what can we get rid of? Or we can just Rico something into something else or change the jobs. Um, yeah, I'm going to change the jobs. So let's come down to five. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm just going to change all these down to five. Because they're only like tiny little food markets, right? You wouldn't really get ten people being employed here. They're only small. So yeah, we'll add a local and then just change these down to five. Oh, no, not 52. Should help us bounce things out a little bit more. Of course, the wonderful bonus of playing with Rico assets. We can just change this for ourselves. This is stuff that should really be in the game. Be super helpful if it was. Okay, we'll see if that helps. Okay. Let's have a little hydration check and posture check as well, everyone. As we're 26 minutes into the stream. I think it's looking okay, isn't it? It's okay. It's always a challenge when you start building a new style for the first time. But I think I've watched enough Breaking Bad to put this sort of vibe together, I think. Yep, bring the crash power up now. Now I think if we can make this area over here a little bit sort of denser, some forest brush and the more overgrowthy bits. Let's go for some lighter overgrowth in the middle of the sort of park area, I guess, it, isn't it? Caravan park, trailer park, whatever you call it. Okay. Just make this a little bit stronger. I just want that density to come in and kind of Almost block off the view into the trailer park as we arrive into town. Should we get a first person drive in now? Now we've um tied things up a bit. Let's go grab someone heading in from the interchange. You're driving to the pharmacy. Where is that? Okay, yeah, he's going right into the middle of the town. Let's um follow Charles Harris as he drives in. See what we think. I'm going to have to re-binge Breaking Bad again. I feel we'll talk about it here so much. Yeah, I did start, I think I made it through halfway through season two again before I did something else. Um, just kind of gathering thoughts, because there's a lot of strip malls in Breaking Bad. <laughs> like, there's some good inspiration there. Um, and it's exactly what the style is, not obviously in New Mexico. This is nitpicky, but wonder about switching the tire shop for the O'Reilly's. O'Reilly's is a very corporate chain. I wouldn't have a back lot like that. Also might look better in the strip mall. Oh, that's not nitpicky. I can get on board with that. Yeah, we can have a look at another asset instead of the uh, O'Reilly's. If O'Reilly's is a bigger chain. Which is why I left out Dollar Tree, because I thought Dollar Tree was a bigger chain as well, but... Not to be. <laughs> not to be. I love the drive into this, um, into this town. The sound barrier. There's the family dollar. O'Reilly's. Sound barriers. <laughs> Power lines. Oh, that live oak's a bit low, isn't it? That needs moving. Oh, she's taking the back route. She's not going down the main street. Okay. Seasons one and two are the best. That's a bold statement, Jennifer. That's a very bold statement. Season five's pretty dramatic. Oh, 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 O'Reilly's oh, Auto Park. Is that like the jingle or something? Yes, there we go. Very nice. Okay, I'm happy with the drive-in. Uh, we do want to move that live oak, though. That's sat very close to the road. Let's bring this across. Oh, there's two of them. That's probably why. <laughs> That's why. Live oak mitosis. Okay. Um, yeah, so if we want to have a little... A brief discussion if we dare of an asset to replace O'Reilly's. I'm happy to do that. Um, yeah, someone shouted out the auto tire shop that we're using. In the strip mall part of town. If we delete you and then replace you with a ready to roll. I wonder if this also wants to blend... With an industrial asset as well. I think it does. I think it does. Let's move that. Let's bring this over onto 
the edge of the parking lot now, so we're flush. Okago Wago with a 10 US dollar super sticker, and it's the fox squeezing a heart. Thank you so much, Cargo. I love you too. And um, thank you for the super chat, mate. Really appreciate it. And thank you for becoming a member yesterday as well. Lots of support. <laughs> appreciate it. Is that a little better? Okay, I'm a teacher, so watching Walt at the beginning is so interesting to me. Yeah, true, when he's doing all the little, like, chemical, what he called spray fires. That's a really cool scene, I like that one. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. Well, I thought mitosis were killing me. No one thought I'd the word mitosis used in the stream. I think we've said it before, haven't we? Uh, we do just want to surface paint that concrete off it there. Okay, and can you add some large trucks next to the tyre shop? We've got a couple of larger trucks in. Although the position of these does look a little bit weird now. Um, let's move these props kind of over here. Right, so he's pulled in and he's now unloading. Let's try and make it look like he's stacking them in some sort of order out the back of his truck. Okay, that looks awesome. Yeah, I definitely like that. That that was a good shout, Mao. Um, switching out the auto parts. That's a much nicer aesthetic. A little combined industry and a ready to roll, which is a great name for a tire shop, by the way. Cool. Yeah, I think I'm happy with this little entrance into town now. That's gonna be a nice time, isn't it? Um, is there anything else I wanted to detail? I think that was pretty much it. Might put a recycling plant out here. What are we like for garbage processing in the city now? Um, yeah, we're still pretty heavily in the green. Still getting worker demands too. Yeah, it's because I'm using Rico buildings, isn't it? Yeah, these are holding like 12 workers and stuff. Okay, I'm just going to change this one as well. Um, let me add a local. It's been off like two jobs on each. There we go. Cool. That looks exactly like an auto shop down the street from me. Nice. Glad to hear that. That's what you want, right? <laughs> if it looks like something in real life. Very nice. Hello from the Great Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. Hello, fandom. Welcome. Also out there is some, like, areas for semis to pick up trailers. There is a lot of fuel areas with some big oil storage. Lots of semi uh, truck oil trailers that are round and chrome. Okay. I wonder if we can do some sort of, like, supplementation for the ore mine. I'll have a look. We'll see what we can do. There's definitely lots of different rural vibes we can bring down here. Oh, the saloon, Joy. Yes, I totally promised you a saloon, didn't I? Um, is one of these going to be all right? Oh, they're both sporting good stores. Um, I don't have a saloon asset, Joy. I can probably drop one in. Let's let me make sure I don't. Oh, there is this one. There's a beauty salon there. And it's after dark. Yeah, it clashes massively <laughs> with this area. Okay, well, we'll just pretend this is a saloon. It's got that kind of vibe about it, right? So it was Joy's rooting to... <laughs> I can't say this without a straight, in a straight face. And um, Joy's rooting to in saloon. That was it, wasn't it, Joy? I think. I can't remember why I promised you that. But, uh, <laughs> there you go. Um, a coin laundry start. Yes, a coin laundry would be nice here. We can't search by coin laundry, though, can we? No, we have to go through the commercial assets. Your CS lighting looks wonderful. What colour correction mod are you using? Um, the only graphical mods I have on, or stuff that would change the graphics, would be um, the Phoenix theme for the map, and then the look I use is Relight Warm. That gives me my lighting. I usually tend to boost the ambient light a little bit as well when I start recording. But yes. 
But yeah, a coin laundry, that's a very good shout star. Um, I'm very much on board with the coin laundry. Uh, let's go for just vanilla assets. Let's see if we can spot it. A lot of these would have been decent here, actually. Yeah, I did not factor in Andy's bowling. That would have been a good shout. It's a fairly low level one, isn't it? A lot of these would be nice over at the start of the entrance, actually, where we've just been working on. Um... Is it a content creator asset? Yeah, it's that one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a college asset. Yeah, I want the coin laundry in here now. Now I've seen it. Maybe on this corner. And we can just amend this. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. That's a good shout. Let's clear off a little bit of this detailing. Okay. Got an inch here in Bluff City. I'm assuming you're talking about snow. I know you said in the premiere today you were expecting snow. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's a university city asset, isn't it? And we'll paint this out to lose the concrete. And just kind of mould it into this town centre, if you like. And then there was a tiny little concrete wall here as well, wasn't there? Was it this one? Yeah, this little concrete retaining wall. We'll bring that, and then we can probably make this space at the back here walkable. So people can actually walk behind the store, which you would imagine they would totally do in real life. And then let's bring some slightly thicker, leafier, taller trees around here again now. How about that? Yeah, that's a great addition. We could... I, know, I like the... I was going to say maybe we can bob the billboards off, but I think that's quite appropriate. Little adverts on the side street as you're walking past. Yeah. Excellent shout start. You know what? We'll, we'll give that a name as well. That was a, that was a nice shout from the start. That we'll go for... Star Laundry. Okay, wonderful. So let's dive into Google Earth, um, because I do want to have a little look at some rural desert action today, uh, rather than spending the entire stream in this town. We will see what we can put together. Service Painter should be a base game thing, to be honest. Yeah, it really should. It really should. Um, okay, so this is where we were working with in the stream, and the highway intersection that I worked with uh, for last episode is this one here. Now, there is a municipal airport over here too. So let's have a little look at this, okay? I'm thinking maybe an airport build today. Just a single runway. Single. Can we get a street view? Yeah. So it's a little little airport in the middle of the desert. With oil fencing. <laughs> right? Looks like they put some oil fencing down here as well. Appropriate. I approve of that. Um but it's all single engine propeller planes. There's no jet engines that are landing here by the looks of it. And we can't stop that with the airport's DLC. Well, that's the terminal building. <laughs> it's small, isn't it? Oh, look, and some car parking decoration inspiration as well. Three bushes and a light for big parking lots. I'll remember that one. Okay. So what do you guys think? Do you think we can pull this off with the airport's DLC? It wouldn't be an exact replica because we can't go this small, but we can certainly bring in the vibes of a little, because it's in the middle of nowhere pretty much, right? Should we try a little municipal airport build? Oh, what's this? Oh, is this a quarry? This is a quarry. Look how deep that beast is. Sorry, we are 100% getting sidetracked on the live stream, guys, but we have found a quarry. That is deep. Can we get a street view here? Oh, someone's took a picture from the bottom. Can we see? Oh. Oh, it's a drone. It's a drone shot. Look at that, man. 
what a horrendous scar in the earth that is. Amazing inspiration for an old broken down ore quarry, right? What a mess that is. <laughs> so, they're so ugly but so cool at the same time. Okay, yeah, this is just out in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? Yeah, this is just a hole in the earth. <laughs> you would have to be paying attention to where you're walking, right? If you were just walking across the desert. So is this like... Like a water treatment pool there, maybe? And... There's some sort of raised landmass with a load of tyre marks over it. I think they're tyre marks anyway. Some little outbuild. This is a really good shot from the drone, by the way. <laughs> this is great for inspiration. Whoever took this 360 drone shot, uh, Dan Munaway. A shout out for Dan, everyone. And what a wonderful perspective over a big industrial area like this. I think it's just part of the quarry, isn't it? I wonder how much you can bob out of the Aviation Club asset to make it work. Yeah, the Aviation Club wouldn't be a bad shot, actually. So amazing. Oh, where the bombs were tested? Yeah, because they did a lot of nuclear testing in the... Was it the Mojave Desert in Nevada? It's not far from here, right? Okay, so that's interesting to know for when we come to build maybe an old broken down ore quarry. I'll have to remember where that is. But either way, back to rural Arizona. That's so weird as well how it just sits like that. What a strange quarry build. Fascinating. <laughs> Fascinating. You'd fall into hell if you walked into that. Yeah, it's kind of a gateway into hell, isn't it? Um, okay then, so let's see what's happening here with the airport. We'll have a look at this first. So the highway, we're going to come off the highway with the regular road. And then it essentially just becomes a collector, doesn't it? And then we just disperse off in various different directions off of this road. Okay. So how is the airport starting? Yeah, it's just a, a T-junction, isn't it? Because does this road... Can you drive onto the runway here? Surely this must be gated off. There's got to be a gate here, right? You can't just drive down here. Yes, some chain link fencing, of course. <laughs> of course. A new favourite. Good choice. <laughs> Good choice. Love the chain link fencing, okay? Alright then, let's start playing with this. Let's see what we think. Let's see what we can do. Um, so identifying a space... So we've had some people shouting out for the use of the Aviation Club, which would be a good shout, to be fair. Or we can go for an airport's DLC, airport, and just keep it a single terminal. Make it very, quite low-key. We can make this bigger, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? So we'll shave off all this area, we'll try and work with this space today. Okay. There is a mod that lets you choose specific planes that spawns at your airport stands. You could use it to spawn just small airplane, work, uh, small workshop planes. That would be a good shout, to be fair, actually. Yeah, that would be a, a nice shout. Um, so let's come in with some asymmetrical action. Probably just use the one we used in the interchange, actually. And then I think we'll grab our little network skinned collector road with the palms. I do like this one. Okay. Quarries is an amphitheater. It would make a good amphitheater, wouldn't it? Imagine the acoustics in that bowl would be amazing. Any sound design fans in the room? Okay, so we'll just make a little three uh, asymmetrical junction here. Um, so people can turn in, give us a dedicated turning lane, and then we can start to have a look at an airport. So let's place in the Aviation Club first of all. I feel like there was a fair few shouts for that in the live chat, so we'll check it out. Let's make sure the road's a bit longer first, that would be helpful. There we go.
let me compare this to an airport's DLC terminal as well. So we can see them next to each other. Let's go for... It's going to have to be the classic terminal, isn't it? It can't be any of the other ones. They'll really clash here. Yeah, it's going to have to be this one. Oh, this doesn't actually need a road, does it? Of course, it's a terminal building. Okay, Karen Airport. Get ready for a complaint if you're going to be flying. It's named after Karen. Okay. I like the Aviation Club. I don't like how short its runway is. Is there a chance that we can network multi-tool the runway out of it? Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. And it's in separate stages. Can I replace this with an airport's DLC runway? It's not going to work, is it? I know it's not going to work, but I want to try it. No, it wants an airport area. It's not going to work, is it? It's not, that isn't going to work. I know it's not. It's just a waste of time. Let's not do that. Um, so let's go for Bob. What can we rid? Actually, what do you even want to rid, if anything? Because the buildings kind of work perfectly for what I want. Can we combine this actually with airports decoration assets like the small hangars? It will need an airport area to place them though. Or does it? Can we just use move it to find them? Uh, no, we can't. Is it small hunger it wants? Can we place it from here? No, okay. Alright, let me paint out the airport area, because I need to see what this looks like. And um, just get it roughly over here. But if I am going to use airport assets for decorating the airfield, I'm going to have to keep an airport terminal in here as well. And if we did start to sort of combine them all together. I don't know. Tough one, this. <laughs> it's tough on this. Um, could you use the contents DLC and make a quarry amphitheater build in the city somewhere? Oof, that would be a difficult build, Grattles. Um, what, you mean to get, like, the this asset into the bottom of a quarry? You could. It'd be an awkward terraforming job, though. <laughs> It'd be super awkward. I don't see why not a quarry amphitheatre. I don't know how realistic it is. I don't know whether or not disused quarries are usually turned into recreational space. Maybe they are. Hmm, right. I'm wanting to use the airport's DLC. I know I am. I know that I want, like, basically a terminal with, like, three stands on it and no more on a single runway. It's just massive, isn't it? It's a massive building. Okay. I realise I'm taking a long time here to decide, guys. If I place in hangars and then remove the airport area, I'm going to get a warning, aren't I? Yeah, I do. I get the issue that the has no main building anymore. I'm going to go for an airport's area, guys. I'm going to go for an airport's area. We're going to try it. If it's crap, then we just obviously delete it. And this build never happened, and it'll be an exclusive stream project. Okay. I think you should really get small airport on the workshop. Yeah, there's probably there's probably some small terminals I can download off the workshop. Um, that would be helpful for stuff like this. So I think, yeah, let's have the runway going off in that direction, and then we'll align our main terminal center with a lot of car parking 
Also, there isn't that much car parking out the front of the one we saw in Arizona, to be fair. It's only a very small yard outside, so I think we'll go for that. Okay, let's have a look now at the main building. You can hide the terminal at the edge of the map. I mean, that's where they... They come out of the terminal, don't they? There we go. Okay. Gonna be a little bit of an experimental build, everyone, so just settle in, get a drink, some snacks as well, perhaps. Uh, we'll test out a municipal airport with the airport's DLC. It could just be the point that I actually leave the airport building and then at the start of next episode, I'll run by the workshop. Oh shit, I've terraformed the river, I didn't want to do that. Um, I'll go get grab like a different, smaller, rural looking terminal off the workshop and then we can just switch it out at the start of next episode. That's probably the most easiest fix to the problem here. So, I'm happy with the positioning of the airport. Maybe if we had some large rocks in the background, it wouldn't look as big. Would you really get large rocks near a, a runway, though? Isn't there a mod that you can change the functioning with a building? Um, yes, that's Rico that does that. But yeah, I guess you could. I don't know, would that stop it working as a terminal, though? Because Sims need to exit out of this. If you turned it into like a commercial lot. I don't know. Let's get the runway in anyway, because that's obviously like that's the meat and potatoes of the build, isn't it? The runway is the most important thing. And um, so let's actually set up some dirt road frames first. Let's go for some dirt roads and snap off from 90 degree angles off of here. Hey Rich, welcome to the stream, mate. Yes, a little experiment. Yes, it is a little experiment. We're just sort of asking about with the possibility of a municipal airport based off something we just found in Arizona. Okay, so I will snap here. There's a 150 unit runway. Too large or too small? The bird's eye view would be quite telling, because bearing in mind the the Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport, the main airport of Ilos, is going to reside in and around here, within the downtown. So I don't really want this airport to dominate that one. Because that's going to have three runways, I think, the Sky Harbor in Phoenix. Okay. Okay. Um, so next thing I want to do is actually bring in some concourse, so we can plan in some spots for some planes to land. So I'm thinking like basically no more than three small aircraft stand. And again, if I can get the mod that switches these out for little single engine propeller planes, because I don't ideally want jet engines landing here, then we will do. Small kind of, let's see if we can get a sense of scale for the one in Arizona together. Um, Looking at it from the top down. Actually, no, no, we can measure it. Let's use the measuring tool. Um, fifteen hundred meters. So yeah, about about fifteen hundred, about well, about about one hundred and fifty units. Yeah, that's pretty much bang on. That was not pre-planned. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's fifteen hundred meter runway, which will translate into one hundred and fifty units in cities. So we're pretty much about there, to be fair. That's sort of what we're after. Okay, but this is going to be important to configure. Right? Let's see if we can adjust the runway. That was a slightly. Oh, the runway does not like being moved with move it. Does it not? Well, we'll find out. That didn't look too healthy, did it? <laughs> all the um, all the. 
Runway sort of disconnected. You okay, Runway? You should be. Does it not like the fact that I've moved it with Move It? I don't think it does, does it? Oh, no, there we go. No, it doesn't. Let me redraw that. Okay, so 150 units seems to be somewhat realistic then. So let's line this up again with a road guideline snap so we know that we're parallel with our terminals. Bring it down a little bit further as well. So we'll go by runway and then we will go for 150 units. Ooh, it's a little bit tight on that one. Let's move down a touch. Now we do come close to the canal here. Which should be acceptable. To just bring that back. Oh, I didn't realise that the, the decals on the runway could be moved around with Move It. I've not noticed that one before. Okay, that's fine. Value Lad Gaming with a 179 super chat. Really enjoyed your last video, Cavern Coast. Yeah, Cavern Coast is shocking, isn't it? Oh, this is too far away now. No, sorry guys, I don't like that angle. I don't like that at all. Let me try this again. Um, okay, here. We're going to have to have an angled runway, I think. Because it is actually angled in Arizona, so we'll try and stay somewhat true to it. Right, that's my runway. I'm not touching it now. <laughs> We're leaving it as that. Mm, actually, do I want my... Yeah, I think I want the concourses this side. Because there's a lot of oil fence decoration opportunities as we enter into the airport, so I don't want the concourse this side of it. So in that case, we will move the small stands over to this point. I like the first angle you had, sort of diagonal to the terminal. Yeah, I think that was the best one, wasn't it, Rich? Just off at an angle. I think we can get on board with that. Um, oh, are you asking about the terrain now? Why are you doing that airport? Is it because we're too close to the canal? Is that what's making you unhappy? I'm assuming so. Let's try again. Slope too steep. Not with Anarchy, it isn't. And then make sure we're snapping to no road guideline here. Off. And back onto road guideline. These are not behaving very well in this area, probably because I have snapping turned off. You melon. There we go. Now it's playing game. This could actually be a really cool area of the map where if we bring... Because we're going to have the planes running parallel to the canal as they come into land. That's going to be a really nice aesthetic. Okay, it's growing on me, everyone. It's growing on me. And um, let's first of all run the taxiway parallel with the canal. Can we come like right down here? Nearly. Let's come for a slightly shorter distance then. Let's go for that one. There we go. Okay, CS celebrated seven years. They did, and they featured Novaria. And um, Novaria was in that little video. Did you guys see it? I was super stoked, man. They didn't tell me about that either. They just did it. <laughs> I was like, no way. My, my city is in the city's channel. Being celebrated as one of the top builds of 2021. That was really cute. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Very simple connections right now. We will worry about how this looks as part of the build. It looks as though you're going to want some power transferring across from this angle, which is acceptable. Let's just jump across and factor that in somehow there. Assets will probably eventually sync it through. Okay, hey Michael, welcome into the stream, mate. Okay. 
Oh, plane. Can we get a first person tour? Oh, we can. You're going to take off? I really want to see a plane land and come by the canal. Let's give it a second and a hydration break as well, everyone. We'll have a little catch up as well while we wait for a plane to come in. Yes, Egg saw you featured and was so proud. Thank you, DJ. <laughs> Thank you. That's the plane's taking off anyway. Okay. Their landing path is a bit sketchy. They're coming fairly close to the mountains here. But unless there's any severe aviation nerds in the chat, I think we'll be okay. So big parking lots outside of this is what we want. Let's go for black asphalt, I think. Let's see, let's, um, oh, leave me alone. There we go. Okay. So let's have a look at how we sit and configure out front of the terminal. So it is an extremely, I want to do a bigger one than this, <laughs> just because we're using a bigger terminal. But yeah, I'll do some bigger car parking. And then it's really just kind of lots of, utility service buildings in and amongst overgrown desert. There's not really that much more to it. Um, and a ton of surface paint out here as well. There is a helicopter landing pad too, so we can possibly bring in some of the commercial asset, not commercial, um, emergency service assets. Possibilities, everyone. It's bloody error code, man. I will fix it one day, guys. Don't worry. Um, so the distance here is 13. <laughs> Could you not have been 12? That would have been ideal. Um, okay, let's do three. And then we'll go border. And then we'll do nine. 13. Drive road off the node by three units. And then black asphalt back into the corner. And this should complete our car park. You can still do them by... Off numbers, it's just not going to be symmetrically cute like this one is now. <laughs> Super annoying. We'll bring one through the middle though. And then... That's going to irritate the life out of me. I guess we can just finagle the nodes down, right? Nobody saw that. I wasn't sure it was Navari, that's awesome. Yeah, it was really cool. I was very excited. With some anarchy too. Oh, yeah, because it's not. Yeah, this is why you want even numbers with it. Okay, just give me a second. I'm going to have to rework with the filler words. Uh, where are they? Yes, there. That's what we want. We just trim this down then in that case. Yeah, there you go. That's gonna do us. Uh roads. Want car parking now, so those car parks in Arizona did have the little curb spaces on them at either end and no space in the middle. So with that in mind, let's try and respect that. Why is that clipping so hard? I just totally forgotten how to use big parking lots. Okay. New idea. New idea. I'm still going to use big parking lots, but I'm not going to put the entrance right outside of the terminal because it's messing with my node measurements, and that's not fun. So we'll do three. Actually, I could just have it as one access road, couldn't I? Out of the first node. It only needs one drive road, technically. So that's three, and then we'll do nine, twelve, 
9 and then 12 again. For those that are a little bit confused about what I'm doing here, um, parking lot roads likes to be drawn in measurements of 3. It makes it a lot more easier for centralizing designs like this. Like so, now it's fine. Um, right, so we want the spaces with no curb space in the middle. And then we will drop off some disabled spots at the front. Over four of these. And then we'll go for regular parking behind again. Just single sided though, not the double ones. There we go. And then any clipping can just be removed. Cool. I hate it when it goes sideways. Yeah, it can be. Well, if you're trying to force it into a design that's not a multiple of three, they can be a ball lake, but 90% of the time they're okay. Don't know if this helps you, but when I build airports and want to keep them to real life scale, I take in consideration that a side of a cell in the cities is eight meters in real life. Yeah, I'm using 2C's conversion chart um, for the measurements, which I can't remember. If 2C wakes up at some point, we'll ask him. That's the one that he gave me. Okay, so are we feeling... I feel like the airport fence is too officially airport for this build. I think we should go with oil. We'll have a little look. Because there is oil fencing in the one in Arizona. I feel like the airport fence will be too official. For just a little mun like municipal airfield like this. I think we're going to go with oil, but we need to draw the opposite way because the spikes are facing in. I'm going to get the fence spike security police onto me. There we go. Hey Bob, welcome in. Don't be sad that you're late, buddy. You're here now, that's what matters. Yeah, okay. So let's do this. Snap into the grid. And then we can start having a look at configuring the entrance and some of its accompanying assets. Okay. Yeah. Definitely oil. Definitely oil. And then on the opposite side of this fencing, we have plane hangers. Do we? Where am I? I'm confused. Yes, we do. They're not really hangers though, they're more shelters to be fair. Um, we'll put some hangers in there. We'll put some hangers in. Let's come back in and grab some taxiway. Actually no, I don't need taxiway do I? Because I've got service painter now, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, so this is your front. So we will spin you around to face the airfield. And then have some of the assets back and gone. So it in such fashion. And keeping everything very small today. Only small airplane stands, small hangars, etc. Okay. Three. Is three too much? It could possibly be. We'll wait and find out though. It's alright, isn't it? Yeah, I think three is not overkill, right? I think three is pretty sensible. Gaming Ages with a five US dollar super chat. Love the content in your midtown tutorial. Has me going back in my cities and making high density look good. Oh, I'm glad to hear that gaming. Yeah, the, the noobs guide video. Yeah, it was a nice little build that, wasn't it? Being a little more patient and uh, picky with the high density stuff. Makes a difference, doesn't it? Thanks for the super chat, buddy. I'm glad you enjoyed the videos. Really appreciate the support. Oh, we have anarchy now. We can put the planes in the terminals. This is the first modded airport I've done. I haven't played with an airport on mods yet. Oh, God. How much better is that? Why didn't they make it like this? 
what a world of difference that makes to an airport build. We're not clipping the tail wing, are we? No, I think we're okay. Fantastic. Okay, let's have one that's maybe ready to go in. And then another one that's parked in the hangar. Something like that, maybe? Mm, I actually hate the one that's facing it. <laughs> that's really, really ruining it. Maybe let's just make it so it's a little more pulled out, so it's not parked up properly. Maybe it's ready to go, but not quite. Yes. So how horrifically does Surface Painter blend with all these um, taxiway textures? Oh, yes. <laughs> that is amazing. God, this is needed with the airports DLC, man. I've not been able to use it yet because all the airport builds on the channel so far have been vanilla. But my word, Surface Painter on an airport, game changer. Yes, please. We can probably cut out some little sort of airport star shapes in the concrete as well if we want. It's going to be finicky, but we can do it. See you later, Gretels. Thank you so much for watching the stream, lovely. If you guys haven't checked out Gretels' content, she is another one of the uh, wonderful city Skylines community. We'll give her a follow. Oh, yes. This is good. Right. So... <laughs> I'm going to try something here. Bear with me. I need to keep my mouse extremely level. I have service pain to work the way that I want it to. Okay, this is very much something that would be time lapsed and sped up in an episode, but welcome to the live stream, everyone. Just gotta love hearing Egg literally melting when he's able to put planes in the hangar. Why didn't they make it like that, though? <laughs> they should have. They should have just snapped in. They should have been like combined working assets, but they're not. Sorry, this is tedious as actual balls, everyone, but it's gonna be worth it. So for those that don't know, um, Surface Painter does work best off a directional sort of compass perspective. You notice how I'm getting very straight clean cuts here because I'm on a north, east, south directional point. If you start moving at different angles with Surface Painter, like this, that's when you get all the weird edging. So for those that don't know, single side with Surface Painter, and a little bit of patience, we can start to cut out some more defined concrete shapes. What are those errors? I get them as well when using this map. Interesting, you're on this map, Harvest Moon. Okay, I'm not sure what's causing it, mate. I've been told that it's an asset. I haven't found which asset it is yet. But, um, yeah, I haven't found the cause. But interesting that you're getting it as well on this map, which might lead me to believe that it's... Maybe something to do with the map. I don't think it is, though. It shouldn't be. this layer here now. So now my thinking is this is an extremely improvised modded airport. If we can grab some light in. Oh, I've got some a few C's lights that I'm 100 percent stealing. These little oh they're quite they're not very well illuminated though. Is that it? Look <laughs> can't even delete it, it's so small. Let me get a shot of that. There we go. Oh, Big Todd with a 10 US dollar super chat. Hello from St. Louis. Uh, just logged in. Um, can't wait to go back and watch the beginning. Thank you so much, Big Todd. I uh, really appreciate the super chat, buddy. And uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, we will... Well, we won't catch you, will you? Because it's not a race. You can't catch up. <laughs> You're as far behind now as you are. But thank you for the super chat, mate. I appreciate that. Yes, these. Or maybe even... Maybe these. The after that light is going to be too obnoxious here. I think they probably are. But there could be possibilities. Or false taxiway action using service painter and after dark lights. How, how bad does it actually look? Do you know what? I want those lights. Give me them. Can I bob those and find out what they are? 
Taxiway light. It's called taxiway light. Is that an asset? Taxiway light. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> Amazing. Good. Okay. In that case, then. Let's delete those. And then grab the taxiway lights. If we can find some sort of yellow dash as well. Uh, mimic the yellow line that's on the actual taxiway itself, then we will. But we'll see. Let's get one more up there. And then one more there as well. And then possibly around the back here. Realise prop line tool would probably be helpful here, but it's um It's too late now, isn't it? They're way too close together as well. Let's delete the occasional one to stagger the pattern. Oh, come on. So small. There we go. Yeah, these lights are quite bright in comparison with the idea that, yeah, definitely these taxiway lights are the vibe. The after that one's too big. Too bright. So it very much affects the aesthetic of the airport at night time. It doesn't do too much for it during the day. But again, airport assets will now be helpful here, such as like refueling stations, um, where we can bring maybe some of these in, which will be a great little drive-by. Always quite close to the landing zone, though. We'll see. Or maybe this would be best here, actually, wouldn't it? In this little... um. Sort of a pre-made little alcove for it, isn't there? You can't really deny that on the way in. You can also select all the lights in a row and just move it mods line up objects too. It would, Rich. That would be good if I could remember any of the move it tips <laughs> that you give me. Do appreciate it, mate. I really do. Um, do I have a yellow line? I oh, know I'm not going to, but we can try. No, I don't. That's a flower. Okay. And then I think within these spaces, just sort of these little sparse bits of overgrowth that we're seeing around. The desert. It's longer. Grasses. More than welcome. Definitely no trees here. Zero palmage. Uh, maybe some shrubs too. I do like these vanilla palm plants as well. These definitely have a place in Alice. Okay, let's copy and paste the palette. 180, and hopefully now this should just be able to merge. Oh no, I've grabbed my little, my little lights. <laughs> let me not get those. Um, hold on, let me just put trees on. Is that going to grab my overgrowth as well? Oh, no, it doesn't. What is that? Is that a prop? Yes, it is. Okay. Like there. One more around the back. Good more in here. So looking at the muni I can I can't say that word. <laughs> Municipal airport in Arizona. There is just vast amounts of concrete, um, with maybe some of these little shapes chiselled out in it for overgrowth to come in, and obviously some sort of aviation reason as well. But I can't advise on that, unfortunately. Uh, and then we can come up and decorate the side of the canal here too as well. Definitely bring some fencing around that. Let's totally make everything concrete starters. And then we'll have a look at cutting out some individual shapes just to help break the immense grey texture that will now lie here. I'm very much looking forward to the main airport build as well. Kind of ILOS International. That's going to be fun. Way too close to the runway. I'm assuming you're referring to the fuel depot. Hopefully this new position is a little more acceptable. I think it's alright there, isn't it? 
We'll be okay there. That's alright. Uh, okay, yeah, let's just paint all this as well. And then we will cut out that we need. Cool. Uh, let's go with the brush size. Try and straighten out. So there's some sort of definitive edge. There we go. Uh, you can copy the runway markings and place them on the other side of the runway. That would at least create the illusion. The approach directional could be changed. True. We did do this earlier, didn't we, by accident? Is that it? Yeah, you can. Do these just drop down? Oh, it brings the whole thing with it. Okay. And then these can't be individually broken now, right? No, yeah, it's one side thing. Okay, I really want this yellow line. I'm missing this. That would be great if we could just bring it out. But in hindsight, I could just do this as a taxiway. There's no need to paint it out yourself, but we can be creative. Okay. So again, we'll start picking out some areas for overgrowth to come in. Try and keep them somewhat straight. When the overgrowth's in, it will hide a little bit of the jank when we're using surface painter on an angle like this, but it'll be okay. Okay, let's get a little shout out in the world as well. We've got 161 people here. Thank you for stopping by on the stream, everyone. And let's have a little shout out where everyone's from while we're doing some awkward service painter work. Yeah, feel free to shout your locations in the world. Let's see if we have any exotic destinations in today. You can copy the others too. What, can I grab the yellow line? What's that doing? That's just a nerd, isn't it? What's that one? Yeah, that one's a little more appropriate, isn't it? Because it doesn't come with the whole kind of back concrete texture of the runway. Like that bit there. Yeah, we can have a look at that. I'm not adverse to that, I think. Okay, so let's cut out some more holes in the concrete. Tiny brush size now. Missouri, Somerset, Germany, St. Louis, Scotland, Romania, North Carolina, Salem, Oregon. Why do we recognize the town Salem? Why have I heard that before? Hurt UK, another Missouri. Two Pennsylvania. Hey, we've got two, um, well, we've got one Pittsburgher in. Nice. Always enjoy Pittsburgh after Palavan. <laughs> Helsinki. Belgrade, Serbia. I was speaking to a Serbian in the Discord the other day, actually. And we were talking about some Serbian bread. It's like cheese and pastry. It looked really good. Can't copy the old line, okay. <laughs> Palavan born and raised. <laughs> Glad to hear, Josh. Glad to hear. these in and then just delete anything that spills boundary I can probably squeeze another hanger out here as well if I really want um a roof yep let's do that Albany exotic Canada minus 27 degrees Jerome my word mate that's ridiculous not surviving that. Be full time frozen egg. Italian living in Indiana. Ciao, Marco. Come stai, amico? <laughs> I can speak Italian. Come stai, dude. Witch trials eggs. Salem. It could be the witch trials DJ. Not that I have any reason to attend them. Salem witch trials from Jude as well. Vancouver. Vancouver, Washington. Is it Vancouver in British Columbia? Holiday. Well, you're in both. <laughs> you were going back and do between. Snowy Eastern Tennessee, Lancashire UK. Salem equals witches. Yeah, lots of witch people in the chat today. Okay, am I hating this design? That's the important question, isn't it? He's definitely want 
Just a touch of tidying now. And it's a little more awkward surface paint on the angle. I can probably straighten this out with some of the decals. If needs be, we'll see now. We'll try and consider the prop count for a little bit. There's two Vancouver's, is there really? I had no idea that there was two Vancouver's. Is it as big as the, the main Vancouver? I'm assuming not, because Vancouver's pretty massive, isn't it? Okay, very nice. A little more service paint here. The airfield's definitely growing on me now. It's, uh, it's coming together, I think. Yeah, let's take all that away. On this side of the taxiway too. One has superior following foreign influence food. Is that the Canadian Vancouver? Because I know that the Canadian one has a kind of a big food scene in the city. Vancouver is also like one of the most expensive places to live as well, isn't it? Going down to single brush size now. There we go. Okay. I'm definitely feeling that design as a way to shatter the constant concrete that will now lie in this area. So I think I'm happy with it. At least for right now. We'll carry on placing in different things anyway. Okay. So let's work on the front of the airport build now. Let's jump back into Google Earth temporarily and just sort of see what vibes we are actually working with. So, entrance point is here, which is actually the little yellow dash road. I'll change that out from the uh, the pine. There's even more planes along here on the entrance. Can we do something with this, I wonder? Multiple cities with the same name. Fun fact, there's a city called London in Ontario, Canada, with a river called the Thames going through it. Really? That's weird, isn't it? I'm assuming that's a reference to actual London. Oh, hello, repeated tree patterns. Yes, please. And chain link fencing. Very nice. Um, okay. So we sort of come into the airport. There's some fan palms we can get involved with. All these little warehouses here. I guess there'll be hangers, right? There won't be warehouses. Hmm. Is this the main terminal? No, there's a helicopter point here. Okay, so let's do that then. Let's start bringing in some more hangers if we can, if they're not too big. Repeat your tree patterns, train link fencing, and helicopters are next within a municipal airport complex. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh, um, Maniac, Mina, with a 20 US dollar super chat. Better late than never. Welcome in, buddy. Thank you so much for the super chat. Again, uh, super chat every week now. <laughs> it's one of, the, one of the crazy ones. Oh, my word. What is that? Okay, we're going to stick, yeah, because those roads don't blend together, do they, without a, a traffic light, and I don't want people stopping there, so that's fine. So we'll move down into the little yellow dash road as we come into the terminal. No palms here. And then likewise, as the complex fans out this way. Yes, please. So, ooh, maybe. <laughs> Did give in? No indication to my thought process, just making random excited noises as we build an airport. So 172 people, welcome to the stream guys. Thank you for turning up on a Saturday afternoon. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend and a wonderful day. And thank you Maniac as well for the super chat if I said it, I can't remember if I did or not. I'm terrible at remembering, thanks. Appreciate it buddy, really do. So I don't think these are the sort of hangers that we really should be playing with here. I think what we're more after is to satisfy perhaps some industrial demand using the Rico warehouses because these are probably a little more true to life as to what we're actually looking at in Phoenix with these sorts of little mini hangers. So why don't we do a little batch of these on the entrance to the airport? Can I grab any plain props? Aren't from the airport's DLC, I wonder. No. 
Not without downloading them. I don't know why I'm expecting props to just be installed when I haven't downloaded any. <laughs> that's, that's never happened. I don't know why I'm expecting it to start happening now. Okay, so there's a little road coming through. And then we want to start playing with some sort of staggered warehouse vibes. So we have a very small amount of industrial demand in the city. So it can be justified. I don't like the symmetry with these. Let's remove one of them. And then let's start coming in with that chain link fencing. Okay. Yeah, it references the original London. That's really random, isn't it? Like of Ontario as well, of all places. You think maybe it would have been like, I don't know, New York or something that would have something like that. One of the East Coast cities, not Ontario. Large number of general aviation aircraft are set at this airport. There's really not supposed to be buildings at the start at the end of the runway, so planes have enough space to get up. Only if they're really small buildings, maybe. I think these qualify as really small, right? Because bear in mind, they don't land, like, here, do they? They they touch down, like, this point. So they're, they're well clear of the, um... I'm actually not seeing any planes land. Why? Are we receiving passengers, or are people just departing from here? Three. <laughs> Three people. I've flown in via the airport. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's small. It's municipal. It's supposed to be like, isn't it? It's supposed to be a little bit pointless, essentially. A municipal airport's used for kind of private chartered flights or maybe pilot training. Just like a local airfield, maybe? I'm not really sure exactly what they're used for, to be honest. I'm sure there'll be someone in the live chat that knows. Please inform me if you do. Thank you, DJ. Yeah, you guys, if you are enjoying the stream, um, a like helps me out and a comment afterwards as well, if you're like a massive overcharged egg fan. I want to spend your Saturday feeding my algorithm, then you can. <laughs> you can... Come back and uh, leave a comment later. Okay, so we're playing with some quite nice trees here. Um, they're quite leafy, aren't they, in Arizona? Oh, there's a lot of really cute ones. I think I'm feeling that. And then as it moves onto another stretch of road, it moves into California. Fan palm, doesn't it? Okay, let's leave that in then. Let's go for four trees though. Let's keep it symmetrical if we can. Wonderful. Okay, again, continually checking from all angles to see what's been added into the build. And then we'll see. There is no flight puff in the map, you know, the pink stripe line. There should be a flight puff in the map, right? Is that why? I mean, is Ilos missing a flight path? Has Exy not put one in? That's why you're missing your planes. There's no outside connection. Why? There should be, right? We can't fix that here, can we? Yeah, I'm not sure why we don't have an outside connection. You should add an Air Force base in somewhere here. We'll do like the Area 51 build for the airport military super secret base. But yes, there will be one in Ilos. The trees in Google Earth are eucalyptus. It's interesting that you know that, Michael. 
businesses here use plane advertisements, so the planes drag huge ads behind them up and down Long Beach Island. Oh yeah, I've seen those sorts of things before where they have the ads behind them. Okay. So glad you're doing raw detailing because I've been looking for inspiration. You really enjoyed the start of the stream then, and um, we spent some time putting this together at the start, some rural southwest detailing. Um, yeah, start the stream and we'll help you, Arasat. Um, how do we fix it then, guys? Because I don't know how we bring in a flight path without speaking to Exy and working on the map itself. I'm going to need unlimited outside connections, aren't I, to tether it in. Yeah, it, we're not going to fix it today, are we? I'll have to fix it later on. Okay, well, we're getting some planes taken off anyway, so at least there's some activity. You just found a diagonal path in the map, did I? And there's nothing on our information view, right? Okay. If you have the unlimited outside connections mod active, then you can do it with that. Yeah, that's what I used to fix the intercity train issue, uh, intercity bus issue, unlimited outside connections. I'll have to do it with the, with the planes as well then, apparently. Okay, I'll do it next time then. It's a good job we found that out though before the main airport build. That would have been awkward. <laughs> we should be okay. Yeah, okay, overgrowth. Start bringing some personality into the front of the airport now. Certainly some repeated palm patterns are going to be welcome here against the highway. Up some smaller sort of square samples now for slightly more awkward space. Quit the other airport tab, the vanilla one. Oh, is it in the other airport tab, is it? Now these are only blimp and helicopter pathways, they're not planes, right? Yeah, this won't work for an airport's DLC runway. It's plane it's helicopters and blimps, not planes. At a small farm somewhere maybe in the rural area. Um our rural farming vibes will be out in the east. Um, over here, we're very much playing with um, or rural vibes up this end of the map. But we will do some rural farming stuff out that end of the city. Okay. Palms. Let's go for palms. Um, we could line them in the middle of the highway, but... I don't think I want to do that. I think we'll run with some fence designs in the highway instead and then line the palms on the outside. So let's try that. Let's come for a little bit of prop line tool. Let's come up for 25 meters. Mm, maybe 30. Yes, that'll be okay. Wonderful. Fantastic news. I don't think a little bit of um, farm fencing is going to go amiss here either. Did I miss a super chat? Yes, I did miss a super chat. Oh, DJ, so sorry. I missed your super chat. Um, DJ with a tenuous star super chat. Loving the rural airport. Friendly reminder about adding a dollar store if you haven't. Yeah, yes, we have added a dollar store, DJ. I will show you where it is <laughs> to confirm. But thank you for the super chat, lovely. I really appreciate it. There's the family dollar in the rural town now. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> really appreciate it. Jennifer Cox with a five years old super chat. Thank you for a lovely build today, enjoying it so much. Thank you so much, Jennifer. I'm really glad you're enjoying it. Thank you. Yeah, it's a little bit of farm fencing. Thanks for the super chat, guys. Crazy. Yeah, sorry, DJ. You actually scrolled up off the screen then. I'm not paying attention. My bad. Is this farm fencing? That's forestry. Um, where is farming? There we go. So this could be a vibe. It could also be horrific. We'll see how we feel come the end. I 
think a little bit of divisional farm fence isn't going to go amiss, is it? Just for decorating the, the front of the airport. Potentially. I think it's okay. Um, yeah, I did just see someone shout out the, the service asset. Yeah, let's give some action to some helicopters. Or oh, on second thought, we could actually put in a helicopter stop here. Um, the helicopter depot will, will blend nicely as part of an airport build, won't it? It's perfect for it. Is there a way I can get this sat in the airfield? He would be the most appropriate location, wouldn't it? Because that's the depot, right? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. We could have functional public transport helicopters here. And take them somewhere back into the mar grid. We can try it. Let's first of all see what we think of the actual helicopter assets themselves. Oh, EDH, EDH0904 with a 10 euro super sticker. And it's the pair rolling around on the floor laughing. Thank you so much, EDH. Really appreciate the support, buddy. Thank you for the super chat. Weather radar would also be somewhat appropriate, maybe somewhere within the airfield. But otherwise, this is more of what I'm interested in. So there's the police and there's the fire. Is there a massive difference between the two assets? The police definitely fits in. I do like the red pop of the fire. We can use both, really. Doesn't have to be that, does it? If you want a supermarket in this area, consider thinking about a smaller size of the Charlie C's, small Walmart, maybe. Lowe's Foods, if they have it. Food Lion. Five is... A good one too. Okay. We've got like a John's. What's it called? John's Food and Drug or something like that. That's a big supermarket asset, isn't it? No, it's a Rico building, isn't it? Yeah, it's this one. Smith's Food and Drug, that's it. That's what I was on about. Not over here, though. Not yet, anyway. We might put some supplementary commercial with it. Okay. This is looking so good. I'm glad you think so, Joy. It's a tough one. It's, um... It's a bit of an awkward build, a municipal airport. Okay. I think I want the warehouses moved from here. We're going to switch the side of the orientation with the... Helicopter pads. Let's just move these boys over there for right now. And then helicopter pad will come in from this side. Again, we're going to want to use Bob to get rid of the nasty vanilla-ness. If that's a, a word. <laughs> I'm not sure vanilla-ness is a word. There we go. Let's get rid of the alders too. Cool. So I think I'm going to leave it relatively tree-free. Do you know what actually might work nicely over here as part of this build is, uh, will it though? Actually, that was pretty horrific. Does it? Yeah, no, don't like that. I was going to say the climate research station, but no, it doesn't. Looks bad. Looks bad. <laughs> hey, Karina, welcome into the stream. How was your weekend, lovely? May not want the helicopters in the flight line. That's a good point, Velux. That is a good point. Um, okay, so it's returning to the idea of actual, what about here along the terminal frontage? Maybe have it in one of these spaces here? Because it's a really decorative asset as well, this airport depot, it's, there's fuel tanks on it, little air control sort of tower, hangars, couple of helipads. It's, um, it's an interesting asset, the, the helicopter depot. 
Let's manscape a little bit. And then we'll trim off some of the undergrowth. And I think I'm just going to be happy with it, like, sat here. Okay. Hey, Eggsy as well. How you doing, guys? How's your guys' weekend? You guys are having, like, a big family Saturday, aren't you, with Eggsy's daughter? I hope that's going well. If it's not, then I'm sorry for bringing it up. A new mod for Bob. I guess you're living on us, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a selling point, isn't it? Right. Definitely lots more overgrowth around here now. And then... We should be okay. Mm. Oh, man, this is a difficult one. I'm constantly changing my mind here. I actually want this over here now. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is probably going to make for really annoying watching back for those that are watching this back as a VOD. Which, if you are and have made it this point into an hour and 46 minute VOD with all this farting about, I do appreciate that. Thank you for watching. Yes. That's nice. Okay. I do like the introduction of some um, open desert space here. I'm going to go for that. Now I carry on the chain link fencing to box in the airport region. Or helicopter region, rather. Local airfield. Um, yes, JJ, we're taking inspiration um, from a little municipal airport in Phoenix, south of, well, south of downtown Phoenix, and seeing if it works in Ilos. Okay. Are those random lights in the sand? Um, this is kind of an experiment of fake taxiways just to bring up the vibe of the airport a little bit more and then use the taxiway lights to pop it in. It's, it's a bit rough and ready, but we're still building. Give it time, give it time. Um, so again, we're playing with lots and lots of chain link fencing um, around the back end. Or all sides of the airport, really. So let's make sure that we carry it on from this point. There we go. And then we'll just get some rough stretches in and then just tidy up where they've not quite aligned. Can we just bring this light straight the way through? I'm hoping we can. Banging, that should do. So it's a very small fence, isn't it? But it makes a world of difference. What a wonderful little... What a static discovery the chain length fence has been. Just tidy up some of these corners now. Where we can anyway. I do hate that this isn't a network, but... We'll bear with it. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. There is a light on your vegetation. There is. Outside the airport. Oh. Yes, there is. There is. <laughs> there is lights. I have been copying and pasting taxi lights from the airport, haven't I? Nice shout, Cloud. Yes, absolutely right, mate. There are taxi lights over here. Yeah. I think we've got them all. We can probably tell at night time. Yeah, some, <laughs> some of them as well. That would have confused the life out of me as to why this was illuminated. Get rid of them. Good for the node count? Ugh. Don't talk to me about node counts. <laughs> node count. Node count is the bane of my existence. Stops me from reaching my true power. Amazing. Fantastic. Are those random lights in the sand and roadway? Yes. Oh, Big Todd noticed it as well. Yes. <laughs> Good. 
Good spot, guys. Good spot. Okay, I'm going to very briefly refer back to Google Earth as we continue to add in kind of it's quite a modular little build, this one. Lots of little different nodes tethered in and around the main terminal. Um, these are solar panel car parking, okay? So Casa Grande Public Works Department is also part, well, it's not really part of it, it's just next door, isn't it? Actually, no, it's not even included in it, it's not even in the same road network, let's ignore that. So yeah, it's just warehouses, there's a little bit of cracked concrete going on over here, can we see what this is? It's just like a little collection of industrial sort of assets, is it? What are we looking at? Yeah, utility buildings, trucks, gas containers, etc. Rural power lines with some trees as well. Okay. Okay. That'll be fun to see them in an outro nighttime cinematic, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um Okay. Oh there's runway art, I think. Or is that some sort of aviation device tool indication rather, not device? It looks like runway art. <laughs> it does. It does look like it. We're, we're kind of done then, aren't we? We've got the helicopter depot in. The rest of it is warehouses and sort of small plane hangars, open desert, and a little bit of cracked industrial space. That's kind of it. That is kind of it. Okay, so let's have a look at how the concrete sits against... We should actually probably configure the taxiways to mimic this as well. So it has a parallel taxiway that runs all the way through it. And then grass between the runway and the taxi. Yeah, let's do that then. Because I think that will really change the aesthetic of the build. Lots of Google Earth time today, everyone. I do appreciate you all hanging around for it. Okay, so I'm totally not expecting this second taxiway to actually get any use. Because it wouldn't from the gameplay perspective, but we'll put it in anyway. Um, just so we can see. It's going to road guideline so we can find the 10 marker. There we go. And then you will connect down into there. Okay, and then all the surface paints are between the runway and the taxiway can now disappear. Let's get rid of all that. There we go, you just want to get it so you're getting those cracks ever so slightly off. Wonderful. Fantastic. Let's have a posture and a hydration check, everyone. Uh, while we have a little nighttime look at the airport, I'm also going to nip to the restroom uh, for a hot second. So uh, let me find you a nice view. There's not really any nice views yet. It's not finished, but you get the point, right? <laughs> um, give me two seconds, guys. Have a drink. Check your posture, and we'll be right back. Okay, oh, there's still some bloody taxi lights there, isn't there? How many people have mentioned that? Don't forget crack decals, there is still some taxi lights <laughs> from the box <laughs> right in front of the camera. I know I left them right in the front of the camera, didn't I? wonder how many people fumed over that one. Stops me from reaching my true power. It does, Jennifer. Um, if there was no node count, I would become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. But that's what keeps us all safe at night. Okay, um, I've immediately forgotten what I was doing. What were we doing? Just did the runway, didn't we? Yes, we did. Um, yes, this bit here. This little industrial block. So let's rethink this. 
I did see someone, I think it was JJ actually, um, shouted for a little roundabout entrance point. I think that'll be quite nice. We can decorate it with um, insectual marking tool too. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just break the points here. We won't need to delete too much. And then we'll come in with a roundabout. Just to kind of introduce the airport and direct people off into either kind of smaller flights or the industrial area. Okay. Um, it's this road. I usually use my roundabouts, isn't it? I think. You know, so we'll find out. Three. We're on a four deep roundabout here then. Cool. We will require a slight break into the airfield, but nothing that can't be fixed. This would have been something really helpful to do at the start. Cool. Let's also remove the markings with the node controller. We'll also widen everyone out to 14 meters. Fantastic. This is going to plan. And then straighten off. Okay, so let's see what we can do with IMT. Uh, we should be okay here. Let's start creating some general filler shapes for us to play with. Uh, yeah, this should be enough for a main one, I think. Let's go for a filler here. We'll also need to do some traffic manager stuff with the lanes as well. Uh, let's do... I'll do chevrons. Or do you want to make it solid? Do you want to make it grass so the median extends? We will find out. We'll wait and see. There is another taxi light by the exit ramp to the airport off the highway. Okay, I'll have a look at it in a minute. I must have copied and pasted a load of them. Yeah, let's bring that down. And you guys, straight on. There we go. That's going to ensure that no one... Is taking or crossing over the fillers anyway. Not that we're actually getting any people driving here at the minute, but that will change once we get the flight path issue fixed. I wonder why that's happened. Is Aregzi and Karina still in here? They weren't in here when it happened, were they? Yeah. We'll see. Uh, perhaps some sort of grass roundabout, maybe. Maybe we'll go for some grass here. Something that's almost threatened to be landscaped, but not quite properly. Yeah, how do you check your node count? Um, I get Exy to do mine. Um, does Exy use loading screen mod for it? I think there's a report in the loading screen mod that will count your current node usage up. Um, don't take my word on it, though. But I think that's how Eggsy does it. If Eggsy is still in here, Jennifer, you can ask him. Um, he knows how to do it. Okay, let's go for some... Um, let's go for some little pink numbers here. How about a little cluster of pink and purples? Something like that. Just to sit on the island itself. Nothing overly complicated. Sometimes simple is best, right? I wonder if you're having issues with your taxiways. No, the taxiways are fine. It's the, there's no flight path in the city. So no one is landing. I've had a similar issue in Novaria and Ilos before as well. So where we have the intercity bus station here that we put in the public transport hub a few episodes ago. This wasn't accepting intercity buses until I deleted every single highway connection off the edge of the map and then redrew it in. You can see where I redrew it with three lanes instead of four. 
and that fixed the intercity bus issue. So it's like public transport that arrives from outside the city isn't arriving into my maps until I manually fix it myself. No idea why, but it happens. And now I've discovered for the first time it's happened with the airport. It didn't happen with Navarius Airport when we did the rebuild a couple of weeks ago. It didn't happen then. And that was modded. Sort of. Not as heavily modded as this though. Watch it mod I think. Oh is it watch it for you saying? It could be watch it then, Jennifer. Um, use curved fence to... Con yes, good, good shout JD. I should actually get into the habit of doing that. Let me curve that fence so it's not eating a thousand nodes. Uh, let me turn off all my snap in here. Accept the angle. And then we'll come out two tiles short around about. Bring it to here. Let's see if we can mimic that curve on that side. Again, bring it to the same point. Just before the roundabout, two tiles. That should be, that looks a lot nicer as well. Yeah, good shot, JD. Let's also reinstate the chain link fence in here as well. And then we'll probably bring these little trees down. Also, that is not the tree that we had. Why are you giving me that one? That's very weird. It is giving me a different tree, but we can find it manually. Okay, then I think lots of desert grasses, perhaps some smaller rocks as well within these spaces in the helicopter depot now. I am still slightly reserved about having functional helicopters here. So we're just going to leave it and see how it grows on us, I think. Um, want small trees really. Yeah, some regular bushes. More than welcome here. Please, for the love of tyres, round out the corners of the intersection marking Tool Island. Oh, you want me to round out the corners, do you? Does it look better? Um, fellas. Uh, curb size. No, not curb size. It's uh, corner radius, isn't it? Is that more what you're after? Or doing it offsetting from the median as well? Offset from lines, isn't it? Is that what you're talking about, JJ? Yes, I get what you mean. So it's not like a actual sharp point of concrete that would shred your tire passing over it. Yeah, I see what you mean. Good shout. <laughs> <laughs> Good shout. Okay, let's carry on with some more uh, brown grasses and whatnot. This is my favourite asset here. Fine, tall brown grass. I'm a man with simple tastes. <laughs> you couldn't tell. Easily pleased by brown, dead grass that you would find in a desert. Very easy to buy a present for. Literally just walk out and grab a shrub and I'd be over the moon with it. Yes, I much prefer this little entrance in now. We can stick a statue of Paul Palavan on the roundabout if we want. Rossi, have I stole any of you candy's statues? Yes, I have. I have. There's a modern sculpture one. It's a bit random here though, isn't it? We'll just go for the old faithful Paul Palavan. Or Igor Ilos, which is, I think, what we're named, right? That's so much better. Thank you. No worries, JJ. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm happy with this intersection marking, this little design. Let's go ahead and get this mimicked up now. Um, we can just copy the whole marking over to these points. Give it the old spin and twist. Yeah, apply. And then same here again too. Get the flowers. Easily one of my favourite things about modded cities is the insertion marking tool. 
spent hours just arsing about with one intersection. It's the best. Again. We'll do some lane manager. So this helps with intersection marking tool. Oh, hello. No, you can't go here because the the road median is different. Okay, in that case then, that's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, let me just delete these. We'll have to change the marking on these side ones because it's not got a median road. Um, and I don't want to bring a median road in either. Yeah, let's delete that and then we'll make a new one. It'll still be fine. It's just going to be slightly thinner at the bottom. We'll do it in the same style. Um, let me copy this style from this filler. And then we can just paste it into this one. There you go. Cool. Yeah, that's nice. And then we can just uh, copy all this now and bring it over here. Which gives us nicely marked up roundabouts. Of course, with our little flowers. Let's give these a little spin as well. Fantastic. Got 185 people here. Thank you for hanging out on the Saturday stream, guys. Really appreciate it. And Sarah Ducky with a 20 US dollar, a 20 Australian dollar super chat. My apologies. Uh, morning all. I'm at work. I can't stay. Looking forward to watching it later. Thank you so much, Sarah. I really appreciate the support and uh, I hope work's going okay. And uh, yeah, I think it's quite an enjoyable stream, this one. An airport build and some rural detailing. I, I, I realise <laughs> realize that the stream is titled Rural Desert Detailing and I have built an airport, but... Welcome to the channel, everyone. Let's do some more colourful trees. Maybe a red. A little red circular pattern. Out of the middle of Eagle Eyeless. Not really red though, are they? Um, blue. I feel like this is kind of cute enough to work. Something like that. Or is that too cheesy? You'd go for the purple jacaranda. Jacaranda, if it would grow here. We'll try it. Actually, this might not be a bad little tree just to occasionally compliment the roundabout either side. I think that's quite an effective way, if not a relatively simple way of utilising a roundabout, right? I think I'm happy with that. And just noticing the garbage truck down here, I'm thinking, why don't we, rather than satisfying the extremely small amount of industrial demand that Isla's has at the minute, if we just bring in an industrial service asset and then maybe place it with some more industrious sort of detailing and bring in some of the cracked industry vibes that we saw in Google Earth out here as well. Go away. That is the most annoying error. Um, let's go for... The recycling center too bold here, or maybe even the vanilla one. The vanilla one's a little bit more low key. Mm. But thanks so much for the super chat, Sarah. I honestly can't remember. So thank you again. Do appreciate it, love it, and I hope you have a nice day at work. I like that. It's not too cheesy. Don't forget walking pathways. There's not too many opportunities for walking paths here, to be fair. Um, I mean, usually you'd bring them back and two across here, but no one's gonna walk out here. Mm. Jacaranda come up was actually for joy. Okay. Well, I appreciate. It. I I took it, Dave. <laughs> it worked. I liked it. It worked. Okay. I think I'm feeling the cycling center asset. We'll go for that because we don't really use it. To be fair. Um, let's bring it down here and then actually I might just want to use the parking lot service road for this because it's already got the cracked decal on it yeah the poorly maintained service road is already 
kind of knackered. That's just ruined my... Right, so do I want this? Yeah, I might actually do that. Yeah, hold on. Sorry, I have to redo the marking tool. This this stream is all over the place. This is now not even remotely, <laughs> even remotely correct. Um, I need to move you over. Um, let me drag that node into the middle. It's the first time I've ever used that functionality for IMT, but turns out it is actually functional for something. Who knew? I'm gonna just draw that in again. Bring that down and then paste. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that's much nicer, isn't it? It's okay, isn't it? It's coming next week. I'll share a photo with the Discord once it comes. Very nice, Joy. Looking forward to now after Dave's little teaser. Appreciate it. Okay, and Michael with a 10 euro super chat. In my map, I found a flight path that's diagonal. You can create a path under public transport tab, Air Transport Vanilla, where the promenade airports are not the new DLC. Thanks for the great tips and tricks. No worries, Michael. Thank you so much for the super chat, mate, and the advice on the airports. Um, yeah, I'm just not seeing the pathway. Um... Yeah, I'm not seeing it anyway. Unless you guys are, I'm just being totally blind. What? I can't see it. It's diagonal. Sorry, you haven't been in your live stream. No worries, Zilzo. Don't need to apologize, mate. Will be good. Right, recycling centre, but extend it out with hugely cracked concrete. Recycling centre just would be nice. Maybe a smidge of parking. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, JJ. That's what I'm thinking over here. Um, quit the path tool, maybe. It's. Well, I guess it only works for. Yeah, because it's only. Let me see, actually. Is it an issue with the airport's DLC? Let me place in the Metropolitan Airport. And just stick this somewhere here. Let me just leave this hooked in and see if this receives flights. I wonder if it's something to do with the airport's assets that's causing it to mess up. I'll just leave that in. And we'll just monitor it as the stream goes on. It will want power, though. Otherwise, it's not going to work properly. Ignore the horrendous power lines, everyone. There we go. Okay. We're putting in a bus line or similar to the airport, bringing planes into the airport, since there is transportation now into the city. No, because we should still get planes landing either way, like, regardless of demand. It's definitely a flight path issue that's stopping it from working. Which I've never had, but it's it's tough shit, isn't it? It's, we're live. <laughs> Can't do anything about it now. It's fine. Let's go on with the recycling centre anyway. Or the industrial part of town. Or industrial part of the uh, airport, anyway. Yeah, so definitely some more shattered car parking over here. Again, sort of looking at inspiration from that little... Airfield area that we saw in Phoenix. Again, I'm going to change this to maintenance so we can have the curved car park in there. It's a possibility as well that this also wants another connection. So that's going to create us a little sort of courtyard to drop it in some props, which I'm happy with. Then let's go for a couple of disabled spots up front. And then we'll go for some large ones at the back. Maybe this. Um, again, chain link fencing is ideal, isn't it? Um, let's go for... Actually, can I just grab 
each segment of chain link fence in and then mirror this with move it. Ah, success. <laughs> that actually works. Who knew? Who knew move, move it actually works, right? What a mod. Let's go some more of that fence again so we can box this area off. I am using two chain link fences. This one's a little bit shorter, which I think I'm going to go for. Get one section and then we'll move on to prop line tool. And then can we bring this up and out here? I wonder if an Australian dollar super chat converts directly to pounds or if there is for some dumb reason, it's not a bank of reasons, so conversion to USD before the pound conversion. Um, it converts it straight to pounds for me on like my stream health screen that I look at where I see the live chat and stuff. It converts it to pounds for me there. But you guys should just see the currency that was donated. I think. Yeah, let's grab these. Mm, no. They're, quite, they're a little bit darker, these ones, actually, aren't they? If you're looking at them from a distance, it's like you can really see the chain links in this one. Yeah, I don't like that, actually. That's not nice. I want the other one. Welcome to a two hour live stream of nothing but chain link fence and everyone. Yeah, this is the one we want, isn't it? Nice. Bring it around the back. I want to make a city with mods, but I'm on console. Yeah, that, that sucks, Xylor. That's, um, that's an F in the chat for Xylor, everyone. Who does want to play modded, but is on console. This game's like a totally different game on the PC, man. Like, really is. It's so different. This is basically like City Skylines 2 for me. <laughs> this is the first time I've really played extensively with any of the major mods. So, I've, I've already got the sequel. I'm happy. So, there's Martin Manufacturing, which we used before. Definitely small little dinky warehouse vibes over here. Nothing more than that. Um... Probably some Rico ones would be more than appropriate as well. Um, yeah, one of these. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm thinking maybe some... No, I'm not, because that looks awful. <laughs> Immediately backtracking on that idea. Um, let's come back in with some more concrete surface painter. Okay, and again, plenty of industrial props are going to work really nicely in here now. Uh, lots of our containers that we grabbed for the rail yard episode are going to be tremendously welcome here. We do need to bring the brush size down, though. There we go. The base game is free and epic, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it is, that's true, but you're not going to get no Steam Workshop, though. That's probably, like, the worst version of the game you can get. It's basically just another console edition, isn't it? <laughs> on the, um... On Epic. There's no Steam Workshop. I'll try and mix these match. I'll mix and match these containers a little, a little better. So it would be cool if we can have some walking pathways through the middle of these. Not that we'll get that many people walking here anyway, but we might do. And then we can just sort of see them walk through the courtyard. Again, invisible surface painter tactics. Um, give me an F. I don't know why. Oh, we're F in for Xylo because um, he's on console. Well, yeah, a lot of you after. <laughs> a lot of you after as well, actually. So, so you can't make a road? Yeah, th there's a lot of things wrong with the vanilla base game. But that's after like seven years of modded cities. Like, who knew that we needed a surface painter back in 2015 when the game came out, right? Hindsight is a wonderful thing. Hopefully Cities 2 will fix a lot of those issues for us. If we get it, of course. If it ever comes. Xbox vegetation, you can't play trees. Yeah, I've heard of the issue where people 
Um, you can't place rocks and trees as close together on console, can you? I've, I've played about 10 hours of the Xbox version. I have very little experience with the console editions. Don't envy those that do either. I just think that there are certain genres of game that belong on a mouse and keyboard. And simulation is one of them. Alongside real-time strategy and... Possibly argue first person shooters, but I'm not a massive FPS player, so I can't really comment on that. Okay. Wonderful. You can still use workshop mods with the Epic's version. You have to do a few extra steps to get the mod in your drive, but it can still be done. Okay. Yes, I think I remember that actually. You have to move a load of files around, don't you, once you've downloaded the mod to get it to work. Doesn't the Mac have a similar process? Or am I misremembering that? I feel like Rich has had something like that in the Discord before. And messing about with file transfers for mods and whatnot. Okay. One more chain link fence in here. And then we should be very much nearly done with the municipal airport build. Got lots of crack decals in here as well. Let's go for some of those. Yes, all these little stained, scuffed up ones. Lots of old, knackered, dirty, scuffed up desert vibes is exactly what we want here. Bring a little bit onto this junction as well. Okay, and where's those little crack ones? Yeah, some of these. This is great. <laughs> I love this little road detailing. Remember when we all thought SimCity was the best? Boy, did cities open our eyes. Yeah. I think if you go back now and play some of the old school city sims, like the classic sim city stuff, this is the best city sim of the game that's ever been made. So good. There's so much in city skylines that no other city sim has done, even in the vanilla game. It's just immense. Now I want Paradox to do this, but with the sims. I would love Paradox to make a live sim and basically just do, do what they did to Sim City, but did it do it to the sims instead. I think that'd be a really good game. I love The Sims too. Okay. Some more industrial. Might even chuck in the Williams building. That's an old favourite, isn't it? Yeah, this one. This one's quite cute. God, that error is getting more and more frequent now. Please stop. Really irritating. I'm going to have to figure that out tonight. Okay. Next favourite is Dead Brand Grass and Crack Decals. I know it doesn't take much, does it? I do, however, think that it's not done because the fence isn't finished. Um, let me just head back into Google Earth. Hold on. Um, is there any fencing around the desert side of the runway? Can we get a street view here? No. It does look like there is, though. That's definitely a fence, isn't it? Yeah, 100% it is. Yeah, so it, the fence does run all the way around the airfield. So let's do that, then. Um, go for this one. And then we can probably snap to a road guideline of the actual runway itself. Yeah, there we go. Does no one in the Discord know what the error message is from? No, JJ. No, it hasn't. Been. Apparently, um, someone said that it's an asset. It's not a mod that's causing it. Um, although, weirdly enough, I've also had some people in the videos saying, like, I'm suffering from the same thing. Does somebody please know a fix? Um, so it seems a few people are having it. And I've only started having it since the airport's patch, so it's something that's knackered that, hasn't it? It definitely will be. And we've crashed. <laughs> of course. Oh, my word. Please have saved. How much work have we just lost? Hold on, guys. Yeah, that was a hard crash out of nowhere, wasn't it? Sims 5 CS2 mashup, yeah, it'd be a good one. Imagine if you could like simulate or like play your Sims game in your city's skyline cities. That would be the most immense crossover. Be extremely hard to do though, I think. 
Yeah, hopefully we haven't lost too much there. It's still fun when you know what you're doing. True. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's an F in the chat. That's an F in the chat for a hard crash, isn't it? We'll see how long. We'll only be like, doesn't take me long to load in. We won't be a second. I don't know how much we've lost though. I'm not going to be happy if it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be happy at all. I think this is only the second stream crash, though. We've only ever crashed twice on stream. Which, after nearly three years of doing this now, isn't too bad. Okay. There's a shitload of missing assets there as well, for some reason. Why? Okay. We'll load it in a second. Let me read some of the chat away from the Fs. <laughs> There was an extended error mod that could maybe fix the error. I don't know. Yeah, I've not even been able to find anything in the loading screen mod report either. That would indicate why. What did we lose? We lost the industrial area. Okay. It's not too bad. Right, let's just redo this. And then we'll wrap the stream up there, I think. Cool. This is pretty easy to remember, I think, wasn't it? It was just sort of maintenance road around here. If anyone's getting deja vu, <laughs> that's probably a reason why. Uh, let's come off the just angle snaps here. There we go. Poorly maintained. We use this on an angle road at the point. Uh, no angle, actually. That'll be okay. Oh, let me scroll my live chat down as well. There is a temporary fix. What's that one? It takes me about 10 minutes to load my game with 800 assets. Does it really? Yeah, I've, I've got a shitload of RAM, so my, P my PC is pretty beefy. They can handle a lot. Doesn't usually take long to load in. I went overkill on the RAM specifically for that reason, when I knew I was going to start playing modded cities. I was like, let's just murder the RAM. So we're more than in the safe zone. And it seems to have worked. Unless we get hard crashes on stream, then it doesn't. <laughs> in which case, it's totally different. Um. Okay, it was an asset that we had in here, wasn't it? Was it an industrial one? Yes, this one was here. And then we had a Rico one at this point, which was an industrial one. It was this one. It was angled that way. We then had some industrial props, which is containers. Go for these ones again. Okay. Yes, also Casa Grande Municipal is fenced in entirely. Very nice. Uh, the Aviator as well. Of all the people to turn up during today's stream, that is the person we needed, isn't it? Hey, Egg, do you ever plan to make a UK city? Um, Probably not. Not on Cities 1, anyway. Because after ILO, so we're going Tropical Australian. And that's going to be at least a year away. And hopefully by then Cities 2 is somewhat on the horizon. So probably won't have time for a British build. How much RAM do you have for 64? Yeah, 64. I was going to go for 32, but I thought, no, just just get that like little bit of extra breathing room. Because I know that when that 32 caps out, I'll be like, I should have got 64. <laughs> so I'm just like preempting it. Yeah, I went for 64. Okay, let's have this little sort of veranda that's on the building, right on the corner of the curb there. And then it was lots more uh, scoffed decals here, wasn't it? Let's make things a little bit, a little bit grimmer, if we dare. Car parking spaces in too. Had two, didn't we? Yes, we did. And then also the same on here as well. Wonderful. 
bus lines make my current biggest city crash all the time. Really, that's random. A bus line of all things. What about making an African city? I think you'd have to go extremely asset heavy to replicate anything African. It's the same with the Asian cities as well. Um, we had this conversation a few weeks ago, didn't we? Um, I think if you're trying to come away from European or American, mainly American to be fair, um, you've got to go very asset and mod heavy uh, to come close to replicating another continent, I think. There are some exceptions, like Australia. There's not too many dissimilarities between American planning and Australian. Um, in terms of like the actual cities when you look at them from Google Earth. Lots of grids and stuff and sound of similar parallels like that. So I think we use that Ilos sort of rural forest brush here to and a little bit of death. Definitely remove the tall California palms though. We don't want those here. Happy for the short ones and the fan palms to be, but not the tall ones. Okay, let's also trim off a little bit of those fan palms. There's a few too many there. And then more fencing, which we lost as well. Yeah, chain link, that's what we want. We have to turn linear fence for back on now. Yeah, there we go. Much away from that. Yes, and then we can just let the chain link fence in fade into the forest. And then out here as well. Get that little copy and paste. Wonderful. Also along here as well. Okay, I hope they fix that in CS2. We need more diversity in buildings. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff they need to fix with CS2, isn't there, Joy? There is indeed. I think now that people like McSurgy and Cuboid are working for Paradox, there's definitely going to be like Move It and probably Node Controller in Section Marking Tool integrated into Cities 2 base game. You would be very, very surprised if it didn't, considering those guys are working for Paradox now. But you never know. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? Okay. Right, let me save. <laughs> Before I lose the save again, I've got to clear my save files out. They're getting horrifically messy. With ILOS 14.5. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, Municipal Airport build. How have we been doing that? That was about a two hour build, wasn't it? We only spent half an hour at the stream doing the town. Sorry about that. <laughs> Asked about with an airport for two hours. During a rural detailing stream. Nice. That's probably false advertising, that to be fair. If anyone's come in expecting rural detailing and being greeted with an airport build <laughs> instead. We're going to have to change the title when I finish. Yeah. Okay. It's not too bad, is it? Let's get a little nighttime look as well and maybe check this place out up from the hill. It's a nice space filler out in the desert. Yeah. Or should we watch the sun come up while we have a little, little hydration break? See if we can get the municipal airport with the Margrid in the background. There you go. We'll have a little hydration break as well. Apparently, the out-of-range area you, you you get could be coming from Surface Painter. Okay, Suta, thank you for the shout, mate. I'll have a look at that. I can't imagine it is Surface Painter, though. Because I used Surface Painter in Few Candy City, and I didn't get it. It's something that's tied to ILOS. ILOS is the problem. I don't think it's going to be a second one. I'm going to buy it. You don't think there's going to be a second one? I think there will be. I'd be very surprised if we didn't get a Cities 2. Question Egg, how do you pick a theme for your new city? Uh, just whatever I like, Emily. Um, I love the US Southwest, so 
what its ability here. <laughs> and here we are. Yeah. The problem is they need to also consider at least some amount of game balance, so built-in move it will probably be somewhat restricted and or cost money. Yeah, you could you could argue that, yeah. I guess, I guess so, yeah. But um would you agree that it affects the game balance now? When we already have move it? I don't think it does. It does pop up when you use service paint there. It's not always tied to that though, is it? Don't think so. When you use service paint up here, it seems to be okay. It's also when the game is playing. If I leave the game paused, it never happens. It's as time progresses, that seems to be the issue. PC details egg, and they should be in the description, modded automotive. If not, go to a video and look at the description. You'll find my PC specs there. Okay. But that is going to be a good point to when the build guy has been live for two and a half hours. And uh, we'd be live for about five hours if we started something else now. So that's going to be a good point to wrap up for next episode. See if we can get the interchange in the foreground as well. And that's not going to be too bad, is it? I like it. It's turned out all right. It's turned out all right, the municipal airport. I, do, I don't mind it. <laughs> it's okay. Um, okay, so let's end the stream. Let's go see if there's anyone else streaming so we can host them. Um... Xerxes Gaming is free, or streaming City Skylines anyway. Yeah, okay. Um, so, a channel called Xerxes Gaming is currently streaming City Skylines. It looks like it's brand new to the game, so if you want to go watch a noob, uh, create a city for the first time, and help him along, do go and show him some support, and also stick hello people in his chat as well. Uh, raid him, let him know you've come from me. Well, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all the support and um, indeed all the super chats again as well. Crazy donations. Oh, the airport's burning down. <laughs> How appropriate. Oh, there's no fire station over here either, is there? Oh, shit. Hopefully it doesn't actually collapse. We'll wait and see. And um, what's on the next episode? No idea, Emily. Absolutely no idea. <laughs> no idea what we're doing yet. Uh, maybe the downtime road network. Maybe. Probably not, though. Um, Alright guys, yeah, thanks for all the support, really appreciate it. Uh, noobs got to be out on Monday. And yeah, I'll speak to you in the week over the Discord. Really appreciate it. <laughs> and I'll speak to you all soon. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.